Hello home trekkers and welcome to the first of many Trekker Tip Tuesdays. Today we're looking at how to set up your iPhone to work for international travel. Welcome to the home trek from beautiful Los Angeles, California. It is finally coming into fall. I cannot wait. I'm not a huge summer guy, so I'm really excited for fall and winter time. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited for fall as well. I'm excited for the pumpkin spice lattes, all that stuff coming back. But without further ado, we're gonna jump straight into things today. It's really easy to make your iPhone work when traveling international. I've done it for multiple countries that I've traveled to, and I'm gonna walk you through three quick, easy steps to make it happen. The first step you're gonna need to do is check to see if your phone is unlocked. Now, what unlocked means is that you can use your phone for any service provider that you want around the world, opposed to being just locked to one service service provider, hence the term unlocked and locked. The best way to do this is to actually call your service provider. They will most of the time be able to do it for you or tell you if your phone is already unlocked and ready to use. If neither of those is an option though, you can also look online. There's some companies that will actually unlock your phone for you. Step two is we need to get a SIM card that works for the country that you're visiting. Now what a SIM card is, is basically a little chip that goes into your phone that communicates to the service provider that you have. So here in the United States, you might have Verizon or T-Mobile, AT&T, something like that. And that's what allows your phone to to actually communicate to the service towers to get service. Now there's two ways that we can get these SIM cards. The first way is you can buy it online ahead of time through Amazon. It might be a little cheaper and a lot of people have had success this way, although I've personally never done it. Um, the second way is you can actually buy them at the airport, which I recommend because you can buy them at a little vending machine there or even better if there's a vendor there, they're gonna be able to help them actually put it into your phone, help you make sure to activate it correctly and make sure everything is set up before you actually walk away from the vendor. And if you're buying them from like a vending machine or by yourself, just make sure to get a nano sized SIM card if you have an iPhone 6 or newer. Step three is installing your SIM card into your phone. Now the best way to do this is actually using a hairpin or a paper clip. That way you can open the side compartment to take out your old SIM card and put your new one in. Now when me and Cammy traveled to London early this year, we didn't actually have one of those things. So we went begging from like vendor to vendor seeing if they had any. We eventually ran into someone that did have something. So don't sweat it if you don't have one of those things, but it just makes it a little bit quicker and easier. Once you put your new SIM card into your phone, this is where things get interesting. Some SIM cards will work right away and won't give you any problems, but other ones won't work right away. The best way to make sure your SIM card works is to actually skim through the instructions that come with your actual SIM card. Some of them will have you call a line to activate it, or they'll have you text in a number to activate the credits to your phone. But make sure you follow those instructions because that's the way you're gonna activate your SIM card. Once your SIM card is activated, you can use it just as if you were at home. You can post selfies to Instagram, use it for like a GPS instead of renting one from the car rental place because who rents GPSs anyways anymore? I don't know. Or you can actually text people at home that have iMessage straight from that numbers, which is pretty cool. That's it for our Trekker Tip Tuesday. If you found value out of this video, make sure to like it below and subscribe to our channel and ring the little bell for notifications so you can see when we release videos. We come out with new ones every week and we'll see you next time. There's so many cars driving by. Like big trucks, like... Why is there so many big trucks driving by? It's like I'm trying to deliver quality content for you guys and there's just trucks on trucks. <sighs>